We are at the RV Super Show in Tampa. It's biggest RV day of the year. We're gonna go in and check out what's at the RV Super Show in Tampa. We really I bet there's RVs there. I bet there's RVs. Well, we saw some coming through. It looks pretty sizable. The only other RV show we've been to was the one in St. Louis. We were originally supposed to be looking for our toy hauler motorhome here. We were going to buy it here, but uh, we're about four months ahead of schedule because we bought it last September. But we're going to go in and check out specifically more toy hauler motorhomes if they have some. They're kind of hard to find, but we're assuming at this RV Super Show, they will surely have a few toy hauler motorhomes. We're also going to look at some of the Class C, Super C, Super, Super C toy haulers because we like those as well. So come along with us and check it out. We'll also look at some of the uh, new RV products and things like that in their uh, showroom. So dogs are clearly allowed because they're all over the place. So. Bring dogs, have a leash, or a carrier. We move on from all those yesterdays. Happiness gets nearer. The light that we see closing in so fast ahead. It's hope, it's getting clearer. The more I think of all the tough times we survived. Oh, well, you we found our first uh, class. Super C toy hauler here. Cause dreams are hard to kill. Look at that. It's got an inside ladder so you can access the roof from the inside. That's really cool. Yeah, and the shelves and, and the uh, this is decking. Hydraulic stuff, it's really cool. It's a Renegade RV Rip. Really nice. It's got the keyless entry here. And I've got shoes built in. Very beautiful. Look at the lighting on the sink. It's all over the place. Be there in just a second. You didn't see the price on this one yet, did you? That was a show hauler one, right? Or, or no, that was a two, 2015 or something. Holy cow. Yeah. Still got the Still queen bed, up. but lots of room, lots of storage. I'm digging the super suit. First one you looked at, and you want to buy it already, don't you? I like ours better. Really? Yeah. No worries. We actually got the same unit oh, for you? 2017, so okay. we just kind of want to see what the changes are. It smells new. Oh, I like the, uh, the Bose sound system bar in yeah, there. Yeah, there's the Bose sound bar, and then this one has the residential refrigerator and dishwasher. It's got dishwasher? That's an upgrade. And a nice printer there. That wouldn't yeah. travel well, though. <laughs> You're going to hear some rattling. Yeah. It hits the ground is another problem. Ah, oh, yeah, a dishwasher would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, and then uh, center bathroom, square seats now set around. We, we don't have this no. pantry storage like that either, do we? Like this, I want this up here. No, it doesn't. No, okay, except, so that's the pantry there. Yeah. Oh, and they took it. Well, no, we got, we got this. This. Isn't, this isn't a pantry. No. Oh, it's not. Oh, and you know what? The slide. Oh, this closet's here, huh? 
Okay, the slide stops here now. Okay, that's what I thought. So yeah. I think yeah. your slide room goes all the way to the bedroom. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And the reason that they did that is because this one actually you can have a washer and dryer in now. It's a stackable oh, washer and dryer wow. in the garage. Okay. Oh, in the garage. So they took the weight off of the extra slide room, the extra length of the slide, so you could accommodate a stacked washer and dryer. Oh, I see it. That's nice. Hey guys. Hi there. Here we can get out and you can video. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, We've like got the phone. same unit, so that's pretty similar. I like to your phone, Gamble. Thanks. So they moved the. Yeah, and then the drawers underneath here and in there. Yeah. And then the, the wash and dryer is behind, behind this door, yeah. yeah. And it's stacked. <laughs> So we're walking, and walking, and we're actually glad that we didn't wait until this RV Super Show to buy our Class A toy hauler because there's none here. But the only one that was here that was a Class A toy hauler so far, I think we're about done. No, there was a Class A toy hauler, the new R, Canyon Star. It was the same model as ours. It's pretty cool, some changes they made to it, but they're actually using it as an office. The, the new R team is. So actually, it looks, we just found another one. But so far we've seen one Super C that was a toy hauler that was really cool. And we've seen the new Mar Kenya Star, and now we just came across, it looks like a Thor Outlaw. And we're gonna check it out. The Outlaw series. Check out the Outlaw series. This is what we were considering buying before we bought the new model. This is the one, 38 GB. This was the one, right? Well, this one's got a fixed law. I don't think we looked at one that has a, it's got a fixed law. So it doesn't go up and down. So you don't have two queen beds here. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, look at the bed. That's what I said. But that's not how it is normally. They've just got it that way for space. Yeah. Normally it would be out here and when the slide... No, I guess it wouldn't be because when the slide comes in it would be like that, right? The sliding doors are nice. So the bed has to be folded out here. So. Oh, that is nice. The workspace is pretty cool. have the drop down bed up there. Yeah. And then there was something else called the air conditioner is way louder than ours. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Going out. So did you like that better than ours? the deck on the Outlaw, that was one of the things that we liked that we didn't get with the new mark. Look at this one. Yeah, this is the model. It has the, uh, the couches that bar and the bunklers. Basically, the 
that's nice for storage up there too. This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many right, We have not seen this one. This is a small one. This is actually a Class C. It's not a Super C, but it's a Class C and it's actually a toy hauler. Class C toy hauler? It's what's that? Super. I know it's not a super. Look at this super one that's at the side. I like so that. you've also got this type of model in the Class C, not Super C. And we really only like the Super C's and the Class A's. But these are kind of, if you're looking for a toy hauler that's a motorhome, you have some options. So go ahead and check this one out that loads from the side. I think you could squeeze two Harleys in here. It's a little bit tighter than ours. And this slide's not out all the way here. So you got your little TV room here, nice and uh, turns into the bed. Yeah. Okay. So your only your only bed is the the couch. So you have to make your bed up every day. That's the uh, no. That that would be the challenge. So you either have to use the couch or this couch for the bed. It does have a little oven. Decent sized bathroom for a class C. It'd work. Well, actually, you could use that as your bed up there, and then you could just leave it made up. You could use the bed above here instead. That's true. It's got the nice uh, behind the behind the sofa table. That's interesting. I haven't seen many with that. Play things. So you said you didn't like that one, that class C there? So they didn't have the outlaw with the all loft. They, no, they, they changed it to the first floor. All right, so false, false alarm a little bit. We did find the outlaws. They had two that were the class A outlaws. And uh, after seeing them, we're still glad we went with our new bar. They also had, uh, Thor also has a couple of class C toy haulers that we looked at. And uh, they're fine. We just didn't really like the class C's uh, for space, I guess, and also durability. Uh, a few different reasons. Also, looks we didn't like the looks of them sitting down. It's not as good, yeah. right? On a different chassis. But out of all the toy haulers that we're seeing, <laughs> the Rev Group. I think is what it's called, Rev Group RV. Seems to be our favorite. So we're gonna go back and get a little bit more information on that. Oh, it's all the way, it's the blue one down here. See, this one's 202. So I'm huh. thinking probably 225. I'm gonna say 399. Okay. 
So now you just gotta find the price. I'm not gonna ask. And we'll drive it down here and trade in. Okay. There will be no trade in. I don't think. I really like the uh, inside ladder access. So from within the garage, you get the ladder that takes you right up to the roof. It's pretty cool. Motorcycles? What do they put in here then? Golf carts and motorcycles? The hydraulic lift for the garage so you don't have a ramp. You can just put them on hydraulics and bring them right down and unload them. Really cool feature. Let's go find the price. So, what's the price? How much did you say? Originally said $450. Okay, you're closer. $570. Five hundred and seventy thousand dollars. So they only have this one because it tends to be they're usually custom built. Yeah. What's what? Renegade model. RV. What model is? Give it a crease. One fold, one crease. Yellow pointer underneath the fold, slide it on. It's sealed, it's airtight, but has air in it. We don't want air in our food. Slide it back halfway, pinch above your food, fold it over, and that is sealed airtight. If that stays in the pantry four or five months, it'll still be airtight, still fresh, even in this humidity. Use them on cereal, crackers, cookies, brown sugar, coffee. Even in the freezer, prevents freezer burn. 12 sticks in a package, five different sizes for $20. Dishwasher safe, freezer safe, lifetime guarantee. Chris is checking out the show hauler brand here. A couple super C's right as we come into the uh, the way here. They're called show haulers, but they're not actually toy haulers. So the brand is just show hauler, but uh, not really sure where the hauler name comes from because they're not toy haulers. So what's the scoop on the show hauler? Well, I guess it's show hauler because of how fancy it is. They're fancy on the inside? Yeah. Indulgence and luxury. It had a beautiful tile. It's got a actual tile bathroom. It has a beautiful glass. So that's why they don't even want you taking any. Yeah, they don't want anything scratched. It's very, very fancy on this side, but it's not a hallway. wrapped up our first time to the RV Super Show in Tampa and as you recall this was where we were going to purchase our Class A toy hauler. That wouldn't have happened. 
It probably wouldn't have. Well, it may have happened because we did find some more. But basically, Chris did a lot of research before we bought our new Mar Canyon Star. And uh, we originally looked at the Thor Outlaws because the only two real brands of Class A toy haulers that we could find were the Thor Outlaws, which they've got about three or four different floor models for the, mm -hmm. for the Outlaws of toy haulers uh, in the Class A. They also, Thor also makes a class, couple Class C models, which we weren't interested in the, in the Class C. We considered the Super C's, but they are pretty much out of our price range. Well, yeah, the one that we looked at today was, I don't yeah, know, and even back, I, I didn't even know that there were Super C's actually when I, I looked. I thought we saw some Super C's when we looked before. All I, all I looked for was Class A's because I, didn't, I oh, okay. didn't really know about Super C's. So, what we found at this show was those, a couple Outlaw floor plans. They had the new Mar Canyon Star floor plan, floor plan um, but... The thing about it was the Newmar one they were using as an office, so it was kind of cluttered. I, I almost think that if we would have waited, we probably would have bought that one of the we outlaw. The, yeah. We, we probably would have bought the outlaw that we were originally looking at first, just because they, well, and they actually the Newmar didn't st show well. Right, and they had changed the floor model of the one outlaw that we kind of liked that had the upstairs loft. Right. They don't have that floor model anymore. Now it's a built-in above the garage. Do you like that better? I do. I do like that. Um, because the one that we were considering up in Seattle, I think, didn't it have where you would have to put the bed up each time? The one, the, what we weren't interested in that model. No, we that, looked that we looked other. at it, but yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, and so the we found two new options for toy haulers or garages in a class A or actually we didn't find anything for class A. All we found no. was two new Super C's uh, and the one Super C we found which was by Reb Group, if we had the money, oh, I would, it, it I was would our favorite. The, 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 <laughs> the, the, the way the ramp the, had the, the ramp hydraulic just lift. had a hydraulic lift yeah. so you rode your bikes on it and it lifted it up. It had some really cool ac LED accident lightings on the, on the counters. Mm -hmm. Um, it, was, it was nicely made. I mean, right, but it's four times the price of what? Yeah, it was five seventy, and that's yeah, the show special. I think the new Mar is is around one ninety two hundred k. The Outlaws, I think the ones they had here were it was like one fifty, one fifty nine yeah, or one forty. Which that does seem expensive because when we were looking at them, they were they were going to yeah. sell us a brand new two thousand. So it was one of the last that are stock of the 2019s, and I thought it was right, 118,000 was what he was mm -hmm. going to sell it to us for. Yeah. So you can get the Outlaws closer to the 100, 100 and quarter mark for the Outlaw toy haulers. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the price on the new marks because we didn't ask them the price here today. No. But I know ours, the list price was over 200K. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously you never pay list price on these things, so I'm guessing somewhere around 160, used, 170. So, yeah. I mean, that was great for us. Yeah, so so let's talk about the Super C. So the Super C Rev Group, it was a five hundred oh, something dollar, dollar unit. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, it was it was really nice. Gorgeous. Uh, and we took some pictures of it or some video of it, and then the other one we saw, actually they did not have their garage floor plan here, but it's called Show Hauler, and they only had two right. units, and they're all Super Cs. Yeah, I, I feel um, that is even over the uh, the Rev. I thought I saw a price around the same, like 500, but it might have been, it might have been a different one I was looking at. But um, the the thing about the show haulers was the name show hauler, show, yeah. show meaning right. top notch. The, it, it was high pretty. quality. I mean, it, it was it was pretty, but it's not something that I would spend money on just to have you know the glass bowl in the bathroom and the tile on the you know, on the walls of the, the shower. Um, and it has it, but they can't find their car. Anyway. It's kind of I, messing up the I, audio. Wait for it. They're still looking for it. It's like right behind us. Come on, man. Shut your alarm off. All right. Oh. There we go. All right. And, Continue. Oh. oh, it's just something I... Are you kidding? Are you serious? Okay. 
It's I'm just get out. something that I wouldn't spend that kind of money on to to travel in, and especially we have dogs. And to me, having dogs is like having kids. Um, you can't have nice things. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean our, ours is. Our, what are they doing? Just chill. I am so pissed. You are not. Um, so, our, our, our Numar, Candace Art, is really, really nice. But it's, it's not nice. so nice that you, I mean, you can just go over the top, I think. But I think some so. people like that, I guess. And they've got the money and to spend on it. By no means, I mean, like I said, it's beautiful. It's just not what I would choose for us to spend our money on. Doesn't mean if somebody else does that I think, oh, you're stupid. I just, we, we have motorcycles, we have dogs, we have seven grandchildren. Yeah that we want to take and do stuff and I don't I don't want to worry about something no. expensive. I, I didn't go broken. in it so I didn't see but I, you know top notch quality it wasn't the garage uh, no. option that they had so we're not even sure what the layout would look like. We did get a brochure the one the brochure that I saw shows like a lift and putting a car up like in the top well, it's part kind of, of it or like, something like that. There goes another one. I didn't realize that there were super seat toll haulers. Yeah, and so that's what we learned. We saw a couple of those, and our whole point of sharing those, even though they're outside of our price range today, it may always be, I don't see myself spending $500,000 on something that's gonna lose value like these things lose value. It's not like you're making an investment that you're gonna recoup the value in three, five, 10 years, you're not gonna recoup Unless the value Unless we could somehow turn it into a business. Yeah, so um, I don't see us spending that kind of money, um, but if you're looking for, um, a toy hauler there are options out there look at show hauler look at thor look at uh rev group look, look online at numar <laughs> and there's probably some others that you can find because as well. this is i mean other than finding out about the super c toy hauler this is why i shop online because we were out there for hours and we looked at six units five units yeah and especially when you're looking for something very specific like a class a or a super c toy hauler and everybody that we asked you know at, in their little locations were like yeah we don't have any we might have one you know back on the lot it's like okay if you're getting a, a fifth wheel or even a travel trailer and you want a toy hauler there's tons of them here yeah, in fact the place to come. if you were in the market for any type of travel trailer or even any other Anything type of motorhome besides a motorhome toy, toy hauler. hauler. This is the place to come, yeah. There, yeah, it's, it is huge. Crazy. And we only spent one day primarily because we were only interested in the toy haulers this year. Um, we did bump into a couple of other our YouTube channels of uh, Finding Our Someday, who Chris found like early on when we first started looking at this lifestyle. Um, and then uh, Endless RVing, who we've just recently in the last few months connected with on a lot of the live channels, our live sessions. Um, so it was really cool to meet them mm -hmm. yes. uh, and i think if we come back to the rv show here or any rv show that's large like this we may consider um, just camping up in the whatever the boondocking session is right. specifically to you know get to meet and hang out with uh, other people that are doing this so. yes all right i think that anything else to mention about the tampa rv show we're yep. gonna go pick up the dogs and uh, we planned on coming back but it's late in the day and we're exhausted mm -hmm. And we're just going to pick them up and head back to Blueberry Hill RV Resort.